G'day hunters, welcome back to Call of the Wild. Myself and Tori would like to welcome you back here to Quattro Kalinas. No surprise at this stage. We are going to keep mixing up the content, of course. I've got a few videos coming out that are in different spots, but this is sort of more or less a bit of an extra video. So I thought that while I'm out here grinding for the Red Deer with any spare moment that I get, I might as well record it and bring you guys along for the ride and bring some extra content for you. So. Hopefully you enjoy the video and enjoy tagging along and we're just going to jump straight into it. Okay guys, so when I was first looking around I was like, alright, little level 6 and I was looking all around here and only seeing females and I was going completely blind because I didn't even notice it. I'm sure you already have by now, you got that little level 5 but then over here, you got a massive level 7 absolutely huge 160 to 205 we're gonna have to try and get him but the only issue is he's behind everything so i might try i don't even know if it's gonna work but i might try and let off a 22 shot just out there see if we can get him to go alert and maybe turn for us a little bit give us some sort of opportunity just like that would have been except the other one went in front and i think he got saved again he got saved twice unfortunately we ain't gonna get full score on this dude but I mean, he will go down from that two shots, but that second one especially, I'm not sure at all how it ended up getting saved by that, but there you go. Interesting things happen sometimes, but yeah, they were trying to protect each other, but clearly not good enough because he is going to die. And here we go again, yet another mythical. Not in this hunt, we haven't had one yet, but... We're getting more and more of them the more red deer that we hunt, which is a fantastic sign when it comes to grinding for the great one. So a lot of smaller ones have been turning into mythicals like this. I'm just waiting to get some nines and stuff starting to pop up because that's when we know we're really making some progress. But the amount of mythicals I've had lately, I've been getting sort of two or three per run. So this is a fantastic, fantastic sign. Just over 150 out there. We should be able to take this shot. I reckon he's going to be a very high score on one. 229 to 275. That is absolutely huge. And we'll just sink two into him. First one was enough. Second one didn't really do too much, I don't think. But we want to get him down as quick as possible. Because then we don't have to run nearly as far. But that is a fantastic, absolutely huge huge red deer down right there well that's what you like to see the first one was all we needed but the second one was also a vital hit i wasn't sure if it was or not he did not go far at all he's down just over here and look at the sheer size of this thing holy moly yet another absolute giant on this great one grind killed a couple hundred of these guys now and it's really really rewarding to see just how much bigger they're getting 239 and a half not only are we getting more mythicals each mythical is getting bigger and bigger so that is amazing reeled that shot in not quite as good as i thought got him in the left lung and apparently that second one did register as a vital but it probably shouldn't have because it was just in the leg but that first one was more than enough to take him down i only ever had one stag in this spot here and now we've got two small level six and a fairly decent level seven so this goes to show the more stags you kill the better chance you've got of getting something decent to pop up but uh, i won't show too much of this guy but we'll try and get him down and him as well i think we got both of them if the first one wasn't a drop shot, he'll certainly be dead. And he is 100%. Oh, oh. 
Well, it's very clear now that we did get them both with drop shots, which is exactly what you want in terms of being efficient. 164 on that one there, and 188 on that one there. So nothing too special, but as I've preached in every single Great One video, you want to take down as many stags as you can. Anyone that you see, you put a bullet in the head or in the lung or in the heart, wherever you want to put it. You just got to kill it. Well, this guy's just settled into his zone there. We don't have a lot long left on Red Deer during time, but that's fine because we can reset. I've only checked about a third of the spots that I need to check in each zone. I've got a fair few lakes which I have as hotspots. I will do a video on that if you guys are interested at some point. But yeah, this guy's the biggest level 7 we've seen so far in the hunt. 183 to 229. And I'm thinking that he'll probably score on the lower end just because he's a bit narrow. But I've actually pulled out the M1 here. Just so we can get a quick follow-up on any ones that we need to. Might start using this just to switch it up a little bit. But we'll get him when his head comes up. And that's exactly why I got the M1. Because sometimes you just need that extra shot in there. So... We might have got him properly with the first shot. No, I'd say that we probably did. But it's nice just to just have that little bit of extra speed there to follow things up. Alrighty, well, here he is here. Got nothing on that mythical we shot before, but he has got a fair bit of size about him. The only thing is that inner spread there, so we'll see what he scores. 201, so pretty much smack bang in the middle of what the estimate was. But that's another one of my favourite racks. They just look absolutely outstanding. By the way... Still a very good size red deer to have down in order to get those good spawns coming through. As we check another one of my drink zones, guys, I just want to ask you if you have made it to this point of the video to smash a like button if you haven't already. It really does help support the channel. But also, what I want to know from you guys down in the comments below is, are you guys excited for the new Mississippi Reserve? I am, myself. I think it'll be quite good. I'm not as excited for it as I was about a lot of things. I was hoping for an Australia or another African map, but at the same time, it's pretty cool to have alligators and just something totally different in the game. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys are excited for it, because I know that I certainly am, and I'll be providing some content on that as soon as it comes out. I don't have early access, so I can't do it now. But once it comes out, I'll do my best to pump out as much content on it as I can. But yeah, just let me know. This is quite interesting, guys. I've never seen this zone before. Massive, massive load of Mufflon. And most of them are males, so that's quite interesting. But there's two things I'm interested in. One, this level 4 here is very, very big. I do want to try and get that down if we can. But two, this female here, I won't put it in the lodge if we do get her down. But I believe that that's a grey, and they're not a rare. But they are uncommon, and I don't see too many of them around, so I want to try and get that down if we can. But of course, I will prioritize the bigger male. We'll just squat down here, maybe even go prone. And we'll just triple check our range, make sure that we're okay there. Around about 210. We will use the M1 for this one. And we'll just keep our eye on both of them. Zoom out a tiny bit, that way we can just flick across. And that right there is exactly how you want to do it. Two dead mufflon right down on the ground. Doesn't get much more humane than that. But I've actually been shooting really quite poorly lately. So I'm very surprised that we managed to nail that as well as we did. It does help we have such big firepower there with the M1. But that's a really good size male there. 131. What did we hit? Why is that so low? That's just a very small one. We hit the level 3. <laughs> no. No, we hit the level 3. God damn it. Okay. I miscalculated completely. I thought I hit the level 4. But never mind. We'll have a quick look at this one. And it is the grey, just as I thought. So not a rare, but it is an uncommon. So that's quite nice to get down there. Okay, so I messed up earlier on that big move one, but I'm keen to make up for it. That one's even bigger. 154 to 177. So... Hopefully, make sure we spot the right one, which we have this time. There should be no denying that at all. He's down right there. So I was a bit worried when he did run off that we did miss the shot, but we clearly got 
along, which is exactly what we needed, but we'll go over and grab him in a second. But I shot a red deer over here, so I'll go and grab this first, and I'll meet you back over there at the move one. Yeah, there's old mate, uh, doing his little dancey dance or whatever he's doing in the water there. You can tell they're not good at swimming, can't you? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's that's a very traumatic sight, actually. Eh. Yeah, we'll stop him from uh, stop him from rolling away there. Another level four here. Oh, I can't quite see him. There he is. There, can we grab him right there? That actually looked good, and it was. We absolutely drilled it. Okay, see, so here's our redemption move one to make up from the one before. 155.8 just a solid gold nothing special nothing too small just right on the money probably perfect size for the barbecue to be honest wouldn't mind trying to eat one of them yeah probably tastes all right actually but here's the other one here be interesting to see how he scores in comparison i didn't actually check his estimate 145 so 10 smaller the other one was definitely better but this guy's uh horns definitely go much further out but yeah that ain't too bad. Well, I'm telling you right now, guys, that there's going to be a really, really good way to wrap this thing up. 71 to 83. Diamond's just over 81, I believe. So probably not going to make it, but it's got a very, very slim chance of actually making diamonds. That's the biggest rate here I've found in quite a while. We're going to sneak up a little bit closer and take that shot. That's actually a really, really nice row there. Really, really happy to be finding that because if you look at his antlers there, they curl right back as well. And they've got quite a few points on them. This guy there. And also there's another one up here as well. Another two, actually. That one there is quite big too. I reckon I've found the, the grail spot for the road deer because there's plenty here, that's for sure. He was on such a good broadside angle and he's just turned towards us just as I was about to settle down and take the shot. 160 meters out. I think we're actually going to go for that. We should be able to get the heart from there. If not, at the very, very least, we should be able to hit a lung. But can we lay down there? Yes, we can. All right, make sure we zero for the right range. That there is an absolute cracking road here. Really, hopefully, we can get this in Tori's bumper meat. Let's have a crack. No hesitation there, guys. Straight down. Well, I'm certainly not going to argue with that shot. Dropped him on the spot. Wasn't a doubt about it. He's very uncomfortable there. But look at those little antlers. Very, very nice. He's a gold 72.6. So at the lower end of the estimate. But either way, that's a real funky, cool looking rack, that. Quite a big fan of that, but... Reeled him straight through the heart and left lung, 161 meters out. Not a hard shot. I'm just glad we were able to convert on that one. But anyway, guys, with that big road here down, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, smack that like button. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I post videos at least once a week, trying to push for two times a week, trying to get some stuff backlogged and ready to pump out for you guys. But yeah, I'm really dedicated to this, trying to make something out of it. So I really do appreciate all your support. But that's about it from me. So until next time, I'll catch you all later. Cheers, guys.